Good morning my loves, I hope you're all very very well. I'm literally rushing to get ready because we are getting ready to go to Lincoln Christmas Market. I'm so excited! The girls are downstairs having their breakfast. They are with James and I will just quickly get ready and we will go. I am so excited. I'm so excited if I could honestly explain. Oh, all the food. All the, all the wine. Chestnuts. Oh my god. I think this is the main reason why I'm literally going to this, <laughs> to this market. I'm not as much interested in all the stuff I can buy. Like, I'm not very much into presents and stuff like that. I'm just not. I am more of a foodie. Like, I go to places to try food and try drinks and just to let my inner food mad beast loose. I think I have done everything at home what I needed to do before we leave. Did tidy up, did sort the dogs out. <laughs> did do the elf. Yeah, James is sorting the girls out. So yeah, I think I'm, I'm good. Pretty good. I finally start to feel appreciated with more or less with my Christmas decorating skills. <laughs> so I went to work yesterday because my manager asked me would it be possible for me to come in and decorate for them. What I did, what was really nice, um, of course I did what I can because it's not like I chose the decorations, I, I used what they had. But it was still really nice that Somebody asked me, I know it sounds so sad, but it literally warmed my heart so much. I was there just for two hours because it takes me a long time to get there. It's hour there, hour back. So it took me four hours out of my day, but I was very, very happy anyway. So yeah, I have a shift tomorrow because my manager said thanks and she asked me, is it possible for me to come in today? for a little bit as well and do a little bit more but as I am going to Lincoln I physically can't so I said to her as I have shift tomorrow and I'm working full day I said that I can use my spare time what I have to do what I can for them so yeah oh Christmas just makes me so excited I have finally wrapped nearly all the presents I have literally just my girls left now. I will see how keen on wrapping I feel after I come back today from the market. And I might actually do it so it's all out of the way and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Now I just need to think of what to get for James because it's a tricky one. With James it's always a tricky one. He doesn't really know what he wants and I don't know what he wants and I can't keep giving him the same things over and over and over again. I already know what I'm getting for Christmas because as we edit in my sound, me and James, we do not go for surprises. I do not like surprises. As we edit in my sound, I do not like surprises at all. I do like to tell him what I want. There are people who buy me things what I don't use and they are in my cupboard because I feel guilty of throwing anything out and I hoard them for years and years in my cupboard so I like to tell James what I want and he likes to tell me what he wants so we know what we are getting we get exactly what we want for Christmas but we do not have to spend our own money on it so James is getting me a tattoo <laughs> right before Christmas and I want some money because um, he wanted to buy me some garden and stuff, but I said no, just give me some money and I will buy exactly what I want because I have a lot of ideas what I want to fix up in the garden before spring is here. So yeah, that's exactly what I will do. And James keeps telling me that he wants some clothes, um, but I don't know his sizes and he barely knows his sizes. So, and you know how it is with online shopping. It is very rare that you get 100% your size. 
so I think I will give him some money and I will get a small bit for him to open on Christmas Day as we always do so yeah that's pretty much it what we have left we are fairly well prepared I think for Christmas so now it is literally a waiting game yeah we are just literally just enjoying our December enjoying putting out the elf enjoying our activities what we're having waiting on Christmas Day now every time when we are going shopping we are just trying out new shops just checking which shops would be better for Christmas shopping because we will have a very large Christmas shopping this year because we will have extra three people throughout the Christmas so yeah literally just waiting on Christmas now <laughs> hill and I can clearly feel how unfit I am poor Jamie is pushing the push chair I guess he really loves me because he allows me to film well he has to push oh my god oh dear it's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put under the tree. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down. On its way, but as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for me and you. I longed for this moment to have you for myself in a cabin out.
inside And the night is cold Everyone's lighting candles in their homes Yes, it's Christmas It's a magic time You can feel it in the air That every child got their hearts filled up with joy Yes, it's Christmas all around All snow is falling down, all the colored lights lighting up this town And as I walk outside the Christmas choir sing Merry Christmas to you This time of year Is a time to cheer I don't know, is this just one of those days when the market is extremely busy? or I don't actually know what is going on but it's just one of those days when there is literally no space where to turn around so we didn't spend much time on the market we came here we had a bit to eat um, we went through some shops got some cheese pork pies and sausage rolls uh, some other bits and bobs and uh, yeah we are leaving because there is a sea of people it's absolutely crazy we are on our way to Primark now because we need some bits for girls and then we will go home because it will be pretty much time to pick boys up from school all right i will see you in primark <laughs> let our love us, our family and friends have a christmas with so much love and with joy and laughter let us make memories that stay forever it's christmas today hey guys i am back home from lincoln i have my primary bags i have bought some clothes for Christmas. I know it might sound odd for some, but yes, I give some clothes for my kids for Christmas because at this age, I just simply don't know what else to give them. This is just for girls. This is not for my boys. My boys are outgrown the age when they receive any sort of clothes. They might get pyjamas maybe sometimes. Um, but not really, maybe for Christmas Eve box, but not as a Christmas present. It's more for my girls because my girls are at that funny age where I personally don't think they need much. And what we personally give to them is what they need. And what they need is clothes, toys. We give them what they really enjoy, what is some sweeties and we have bought them some DVDs because what they really enjoy is before they go to bed they all sit in their bedroom in their beds they have some snacks and they watch a film before bed and that's what we have got for them so I have got some really nice cute clothes for girls I didn't go a lot because most of their Christmas presents consist of toys. Clothes are just a very very small part of their Christmas presents. So yeah, I will just stop mumbling and I will show you what I got. When I was saying about DVDs, this is not from Primark. 
This is from CEX, I think that's how the shop is called. It is near Primark, but there are very, very cheap DVDs. I can't sell 100%, but I think they are used. I am not sure, but do you know what? I don't care, but they are very, very cheap and we have got plenty of stuff. We have Spiderwick Chronicles, we have Charlotte's Web, what else have we got? Over the Hedge, Open Season, Rise of the Guardians, oops, <laughs> Flashed Away, Finding Nemo and Shark Tail. Like, we do not, we do not buy them expensive DVDs because Bella have a habit because they have massive box full of DVDs upstairs and most of them are empty boxes like empty DVD boxes because Bella have a habit of emptying them just scratching them licking them covering them with chocolate breaking them and it's not worth for us to spend money on something that Bella constantly ruins but they absolutely love having a film before bed so this is a great gift for girls so yeah not a primal gift but a great gift for girls so I got I'm not really sure can I show it without opening a really cute pyjama for girls with a mini mouse with a blue top a mini mouse on and red spotty trousers then I have a fluffy pyjama with a mini mouse again and with blue mini mouse trousers then I have another fluffy one with a mini mouse on the top and red bottoms with the Minnie Mouse on as well. And then I have the last pyjamas with the sleeping Minnie Mouse on on the top and sleeping, oh, that came off. And with sleeping Minnie Mouses on the bottoms. So next I have just three pairs of socks, nothing much, but very useful, especially for my girls because they have this weird, weird habit that every single time when I put them on socks, I take them to school run, I come back home and one of their socks is missing. Like what on earth? I have a whole other bag full of socks that doesn't have other half. Yeah, so very useful very very useful so next we have bubbles because Bella is a little hairy monster <laughs> and Melia's hair right now is starting to grow as well so these will be very useful so next we have mini mouse tops one is pink with a mini mouse and then we have this one with many mini mouses on this is a little mini mouse top together with a dungaree dress. This is so cute, I can't wait for any of them wearing this. So then I have this jumper dress skirt thing. It's like a jumper and skirt but it's all sewn together so it's kind of a dress. But it's so cute and again it's a Disney theme. But it's such a great, like a Christmas dress. Oh, it's so cute. And then I have these two absolutely gorgeous Winnie the Pooh jumper dresses with these absolutely gorgeous red tights. They're just absolutely beautiful. And then literally I had just last few pounds left and I had no clue what to buy for them. So yeah, I couldn't find anything. There was. I will be very honest, in Lincoln there is not much choice because we, when we go shopping we usually go to Peterborough. So I went for these, I got two of these 
they are really nice I don't know how long the color will last <laughs> because light colors do not last in this house very long but they are really cute they are nice they are soft um, but yeah everything I bought I'm really really happy for it's just that um, Lincoln doesn't really have much to offer they have this really really tiny 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 corner for girls yeah it was really hard to find absolutely anything this is why i like to go to Peterborough because they have so much more choice but at the end of the day i can't complain because i found at least something and everything i found is absolutely gorgeous i think girls will be really happy with their clothes especially with their nice and warm pajamas so yeah I'm happy, they will be happy. They do like to be really nice and cozy when they go to bed. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.